Just some quick service tips on how I do a battery service or battery replacement on most any modern car. Especially if the car's got a lot of memory presets or things that have to be reprogrammed. I'm working on a 2017 Chevy Cruze with a 1.4. There's our replacement battery. Standardized jump box with a battery inside and my cable. It's a very cool cable to have very good cable to use and what that allows me to do is plug into the OBD2 port and then plug the other half into a cigarette lighter. I normally use a cigarette lighter of my jump box. Now what I have noticed is I also have that jump box. These are the modern style smart jump boxes and what I found with these jump boxes is sometimes it turns off the 12 volt power source automatically it times out. It's no good for our situation. This old school style jump box, which they still make and still sell, you can get a smaller version if you want. They don't turn their 12 volt cigarette lighter output off, so it's on all the time. So you have all the time in the world to do a battery swap. So what I do is I take this tool right here, find the OBD2 diagnostic port, which happens to be right there. Plug the tool in. Now a good part about plugging the tool in, a little light shines showing you that you have power to the port. Now we're going to take the key out of the ignition. Key sitting on the seat there. I always leave the window down. So now we have power. Got to do this with the key off and the door is closed when you disconnect the battery. So what I'm going to do is take my big jump box, put it on the front floor here, right there on the floor. And then I'm going to plug this in to that port. Now the, the jump box is supplying power through the cable and basically back feeding through the OBD2 port. Disadvantage of this, if you short the cables out under the hood, touch the positive to ground and you will pop a fuse now there is a fuse inside here I don't know what size it is but some of these fuses for the for the OBD2 data link connector could be as small as 10 amp so basically in a nutshell you're gonna pop a fuse if you do touch the cables together so you gotta be very very careful when you disconnect them cable ends so now what I'm going to do is I am going to close the, the door door closed Make sure there's no lights on, though, because a lot of these cars leave the lights on. I turn the automatic stuff off in the car because you don't want anything turning on. You don't want to have anybody open the door. And now what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect that battery. And while the battery's disconnected, we have to remember that this positive cable is live. Okay? And I'm going to show you how live that is when we uh, undo this battery out of this car. I'm not going to show the battery replacement pre cut and dry on this car. 10 millimeter. Pop it up. Undo your bolts. Boom. Take it out. So, here's just to show you with the battery completely removed from the car how you have the ground lead connected to the negative, the positive lead connected to the positive cable, and there you are reading 12.51 volts. So your positive cable is hot just by having the jump box connected to the car through the OBD2 port. So right now all the memory settings are being saved all because you see a little red light on. It's indicating that we have power. So now we'll put the battery in the car. You have to clean up the cable ends and this job is complete. We don't have to worry about reprogramming windows, reprogramming radios, clocks, getting security codes, stuff like that. Just a quick service note. When you do do this operation, the center tit of your cigarette lighter is positive. So when it's plugged in, this light is lit. If you touch the body of the vehicle with that, because this is ground on it on a, uh, this is ground on a cigarette lighter. And this right here is the positive. If this were to accidentally touch, you are gonna pop the fuse either in here or you're going to pop the fuse in the car. So just a quick service tip.